All right, 25, 26, and 27 are simplifying the ratio of polynomials. I want to simplify the ratio of polynomials. What I have to do is I have to put it in factored form. So I want to factor out the top and the bottom. When I'm looking for factoring, the first thing I want to factor out is a greatest common factor if there is one. In this case, I can factor 6 out of both of those. So I would take out the 6. 96 divided by 6 is 16, so I'm going to have 16 minus u squared. Then I'm going to look to see what's left in the parentheses. Can I factor that again? If I look at this one, this is the difference of perfect squares, so I can factor that with my two sets of parentheses. Factors of 16, 4, and 4. Factors of u squared, u and u. One will have a plus and one will have a minus since we have the difference of perfect squares. When I look at the bottom of that expression, there is not a greatest common factor. There's nothing I can divide out of three, all three terms. So I just go to my regular factoring. I know that foils out. Factors of u squared, u and u. My signs, a plus and a minus. I want the factors of 20 that give me a plus 1 in the middle. 5 times 4 is 20. Since I want a plus 1, I need a plus 5 and a minus 4. Now in this case, I look at it and say, well, I don't have anything that's exactly the same, but if I could switch this one around to 4 minus u instead of u minus, or 4, if I could switch it around to u minus 4 instead of 4 minus u, then they would be the same. So all I'm going to do here is factor out a negative 1. When I factor out a negative 1, it's going to make that a negative 6 instead of a positive 6 and make this u minus 4, basically just switching both of those signs. Now I can go ahead and cancel that out. So those will cancel. I have negative 6 times 4 plus u over u plus 5 for my answer. You may see on Alex where they might put the negative in front. It shouldn't make any difference, but they might put the negative in front of your fraction instead of in front of the 6. So if you need to flip one of those around, you just factor out the negative. Now, if it was the plus 1, we have the commutative property. You can just switch the plus 1. But if it's the minus 1 you need to switch around, you need to factor out that negative 1. So 26, same kind of thing. If I look at that, I want to simplify it. So I want to put it in factored form. Looking at the top, I want to take out my greatest common factor. I can either take out the negative 5 or a positive 5. It's kind of up to you. But since I want my x squared to be positive, I'm going to go ahead and take the negative 5 out. So if I take the negative 5 out, it leaves me a positive x squared, and then a positive 5 divided by negative 5 would be minus 1. Again, in that set of parentheses, we end up with the difference of perfect squares that we can factor. So we're going to go ahead and factor that. That factors into x plus 1 and x minus 1. Factors of x squared, x and x. Factors of 1, 1 and 1. We have to have a plus and a minus. Bottom of that expression does not have a greatest common factor, so we just go ahead to factoring it out by foiling. Factors of x squared, x and x. The end is negative, so we know we have a plus and a minus. Factors of 5, we want a positive 4, so we have to have a plus 5 and a minus 1. In this case, our x minus 1s are both the same. We can go ahead and cancel those out. So we're going to have negative 5 times x plus 1 over x plus 5. And again, that negative could be out in front of your fraction, or if you want, you can leave it up there with the 5. It shouldn't make any difference. Twenty-seven, then, if I want to simplify that one, if I look at the top, there isn't a greatest common factor. I'm just going to go ahead and go to my foiling. So x and x. The end is positive, so both signs are the same as the middle, a negative and a negative. Factors of 6 that add up to 7, well, 1 and 6. On the bottom here, you have 72 minus 2x squared. Again, you can either factor out a 2 or a negative 2. But since I realize that I want to have my x's first when I factor, I want to switch that around. So the more practice you get at this, you'll say, oh, I probably should take the negative out instead of the positive so that I can flip that expression around. If I take the negative 2 out of there, 
I'm going to get negative 36 plus x squared, which in other words would be negative 2 times x squared minus 36. Right, 72 divided by negative 2 is negative 36. Negative 2x squared divided by a negative 2 makes it a positive x squared. Now I can factor that and it will be in the same order as my top expressions with the x's first. Difference of perfect squares again, x and x, 6 and 6, a plus and a minus. So that you can see there, oh, now I've got the x minus 6 in the same order. I don't have to worry about factoring out my negative sign. So my answer, I'm going to write it here in blue. We're going to have x minus 1 on top. We have negative 2 times x plus 6. Again, they'll probably put the negative in front instead of in front of the 2. Really shouldn't make any difference, but my answer should look something sort of like that.